driving. So this hasn't made an appearance on my channel just yet, but I've gotten myself a manual Kalisa. But that is for another day. I'll do a whole video just for this car. But today, I'm going to be meeting Nick. Now, I'm pretty sure a few of you have seen him. He's a familiar face on my channel. Um, but you know how sometimes when your friend go workshop, you also want to go Kepo? Yeah, I'm going to go Kepo because today he's changing tire. Now, the thing is, he was on GT Sport S1 since Evo and Euro lah, huh? And uh, he's actually changing back to GT Sport S1. So, for someone like me, I'm curious. You know, you can go with other brands like uh, Continental la, Michelin la, but why do you choose to change to GT? So yeah, I'll be getting more answers from him today. Uh, let's go. Let's go and meet Nick. Alright guys, so I just parked We're at Batu Cave and he's changing his tires at YBL Auto. Uh, I think they carry GT tire la. Wow. <laughs> So you see the big yellow building, yeah, this is GT, YPL Auto Services And you see the Forester, the SG9 there That's Nick, he's changing his tires there <laughs> uh, I already told him I come Kepo la So he should know that I'm coming And y'all know him, y'all seen him before Hello, hey what are you doing here? <laughs> So yeah, this is his Scooby. You also know him as the owner of the Delso. But this is not really a drop top. I call it a semi drop top. It's just a Targa top. But the top removes, so I take it as well. Maybe got new update coming up also. <laughs> so yes, he's currently changing his GT tires. And I told you before, I am curious as to why he's choosing GT again. You know, for me, maybe I'll be like, maybe I try a different tire. But to him, he's changing the same GT tire actually. Now, he is on 225. 45R18 So just a little information lah, okay So this is actually the width tire here This is the profile, meaning that this is the percentage of this So this is 45% of this Which is the side tire wall And this is the rim size, which is 18 inch So he's getting all fours changed It is now 320 And uh, after everything has changed I'll ask him a few questions Stay tuned Now we're just doing alignment. It is 4 o'clock right now. And I just want to show you the waiting room. Now, this is very important. Why? Because besides the fact that it looks very inviting, there's also a drop the top here. <laughs> and it's the middle photo, okay? This is the most important part of the room. Of course, yeah, it looks nice. Lah. <laughs> so, because it's raining, didn't get to ask Nick a bunch of questions. Here we just finished everything. As you can see, it's really raining very heavily. So we will reschedule and uh, yeah. All right, so as you know, it was raining. Now it's not raining and I met up with Nick again. Okay, so a part of me is very curious. I'm always very curious of why people do things. It's like consumer behavior, you know. That's why I have a series, why would you buy a insert car here? So in today's episode, it is why would you buy this tire again? And it's always best to hear it from the owner itself. Whatever car it is, even though I review cars, it's always better to hear it from the owner itself. It's like when you go traveling and then you always say like, oh, this is where the locals eat, this is where the locals eat. Uh, it's the same thing. You don't hear it from the tour guide, you hear it from the locals themselves. So yeah, I'm ready to meet Nick. And I think he's one of the best people to ask because he was racing as well. So yeah. Hey guys, what's up? So now I'm with Nick again. If he's a GT Sport S1 GT Sport S1 tire. GT Sport S1 tire, correct. Okay, so this is your second time having the yep, tire, if I'm correct. Yeah, yep. second set of the same tires, correct. So I'm very curious. Mm. I've been a, around a lot of car guys, lah. Okay. So they're always like, oh, Michelin, Continental, so it's yep. MC6, PS4S. So why right. did you decide to switch back to GT S1? 
Well, honestly, it's 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 not a too bad of a tire. It's actually quite good a a, a tire for for daily driven and some sports driving or spirited driving, so to speak. I had it for the Evo and Euro 19 trip. Okay. And I had it uh, uh, put on right before the trip. Yeah. And it, it served me really well on the highways all the way to, to Thailand and in the Thailand B roads it was also handling quite well for such a heavy car. And yours is an all-wheel drive, correct? Mine's an all-wheel drive, correct, mm. yeah. And, and it, it did me fine. Uh, yeah. I came back, when we returned, I was doing it for my daily drive to work. Yep. And of course, the weekend spirited drive once in a while. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was holding up well, so I thought, you know, if, if it's good, why change it, right? Yep. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so what was the mileage on this when you changed? Okay, like so your total mileage. As I said, I put it on right before Evo Enduro. And okay. I was just checking my, my pictures again. Okay. Uh, I had a picture of my audio. It was right at 200,000 km. Okay. On my audio. Okay. And now it's at 221,000. So I've clocked 221,000 on... I'm oh, sorry, 21,000 okay. on one set of tyres. Okay. And it still had quite a lot of meat left. Okay, so why? Why did you decide to? <laughs> the, the reason why uh, I, uh, it was it was I was so mad lah. It was one of those raining days, uh, uh. and I was just driving in town in, around Desa Park, and there's that the famous roundabout in front of Desa Park, and I oh. hit a big pothole. Big got pothole in there? Yeah, when it rains, that road would just. Yeah, YB Hanayo, I know you're going to do something about it. Thank you, if you're listening in. Uh, but yeah, it was a big pothole and I and because it's covered with water, it yep. was draining covered with water, yep. I had no idea. I slammed into it and my tire uh, uh, bounced. Uh, oh. Yeah, instantly it bounced. So I thought I, I need to replace I need to replace the tire before it blows up on me, right? So you didn't consider, do you consider the other tires? To be honest, I had. Okay. But I was just telling myself, you know what? You know, why reinvent the wheel? The, the, the tire is doing well for me, oh. uh, and and yeah, I, I just thought let's go back to the same tires, and I'm, I'm familiar with it, I'm happy with it. And price wise, it's okay as well. Price, price wise, it's good, it's competitive. Mm -hmm. I won't say it's the cheapest of the lot. Of course, you're paying for what what of you course, get. Of course, yeah. You also don't want to buy the cheapest. Sometimes right. you're so scared. Right. Yeah. I've driven on PS threes before, not the PS fours. Okay. Uh, I I've driven on the RE 2 uh, before as well, the Bridgestones. Yep. Uh, on previous cars, not on this car. Yep. Uh, and, and I thought that this, this tire is holding up. Mm. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's go back to the same tire and I'm happy with it. Okay, so throughout your 21,000 km, how was the performance like? So no, he's a racer. Uh. <laughs> part time racer, part time, not full time, not full. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what race is this? Uh, MS. I joined the MSF race. Ah. Uh, I joined the MSF race since 2015. Okay, so tell us more about this MSF. Racing. So it's a grassroots racing series. Okay. Uh, done. Uh, during then, it was still called the Saturday Night Fever and SNF. Wow. Uh, done by Adian. Adian, shout out to you. Great job. Uh, and and now it's evolved to MSF. So uh, it has like a lot of different race categories. So okay. I participate in the Proton 1.8, the Proton 1800 okay. uh, Championship. Uh, driving my little Satria 1.8 NA. Uh, and what Which, I really like about it is because it's a one big race for the Proton 1.8 category. Which Satra did you have? Sorry, the, the Satra GTI. Okay. Yeah, Satra GTI. You still have it? Uh? I still have it. I still have it it's sitting in the workshop now, waiting for the next season to start. I did not know you had a Satra GTI. Yes, yes, yes. Satra GTI all stripped out according <gasps> to regulations in, in the MSF. It's, it's a fun little nifty car to, to whack oh around. Oh my gosh, on. that's like my dream car when I was young. I always see the Satra like, wow, oh, yeah, sports yeah. car, two doors. That was one oh. of the reasons why I, I went to Proton 1.8 as oh. well. It's the Satra GTI as a dream car as a child. I'm saying, like, yes, I gotta do this. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I was following them a lot. Oh, I didn't know you. Okay, okay. You were talking about time racer. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Based on your experience, how do you see the performance of the tire? Like Com compared to this one? Uh, uh, this one comparing to the race tires. Yes. Well, this one, to be very honest with you, I've not brought this tire to the track. Okay. I've not brought this car to the track. Okay. Uh, because again, I got a purpose built car for the track. Yeah. But uh, in, in terms of handling of the tires on public road. Yeah. Of course, I don't go crazy on a public road. I have the confidence. Okay. Just like how I have the same confidence on my race car, of course, on a higher speed and a, a, a more, more, more challenging corners. Yep. Uh, uh, but I feel that this tire gives me the confidence. Uh, okay. Especially, I, I just always remember those uh, B roads in Thailand 
right before entry to Phuket Island. Yep. Uh, there's a few nice sweeping corners and all. High speed, low speed. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it gave me that confidence. Uh, so I honestly never thought of, you know, going to like PS4s of the world or yep. you know, whatever you have uh, in Continentals. Uh, I, I, I heard about that. Yep. Uh, but I don't really make me feel like I need a PS4. Okay. This guy is doing a job, so, so I'm very happy with it. So you mentioned that you hit a pothole while you were driving in the rain. Yes. So how is the grip like while you're driving, like when it's raining, whether like now it's raining heavily all the time? Yeah. And yeah. I think even for me, a concern is tire, like head or rod. Yeah. Whether there's, uh, what's it, aqua panning? Yeah, hydro, hydro, hydroplaning. Yes, hydroplaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how would you describe it? I remember I was younger uh, uh -huh. on, on, on a Myvi, uh, my, my first Myvi, and I was driving to Kwan Tan. Okay. And I hit a, uh, a, a wet spot, yep. uh, a water puddle on the highway. And I remember I changed lanes. Okay. I literally, my car just automatically oh. skipped one lane for me. And that was scary as heck. So you had no control over I that? I had no control. I was still holding my, my steering straight. I know I'm going to see the water. And I just said, don't break. I know if you break, you're going to screw it up. Just maintain speed and hit the water and pray for the best, right? Okay. And I'm lucky it not shift lane to the right. Yeah. It went to the left. So I went to the middle of the road. So one whole lane. And lucky no car. Lucky no car. Uh, and I was really on a 15 inch yeah, that. Uh, I was really on a 15 inch. Um can't remember what brand or, or tire was that. But ever since then I'm very uh, particular about water. Uh, yes. Water holding, yep, yep, yep. Uh, and how the tires uh, handles with water. Uh, and, and this guy has been giving me the confidence. Uh, okay. Yes, the car is heavier. That, that gives me a bit. Uh, that helps out a little bit. Mm. But so far on the rain, you know, I don't really feel bad, bad hydroplaning. Okay. Uh, I've not changed a lane automatically. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, it's been giving me quite good grip. Uh. Um, even on the highways, on even on normal drives, yep. uh, on, on normal roads, it, it's it's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, so I have actually asked a few people on my Instagram, mm. like, what do you look for in a tire? Yeah, I want to okay. ask you about yes. it. Okay? Yes. okay, let's go. All right, guys. So you have asked me a series of questions. A lot quite nonsense, huh, la? so I'm just going to skip the nonsense <laughs> one. I asked, what do y'all look for in a tire? They say, make sure it's round. How is the sound insulation with the tire? Okay. Silence. Silence and grippiness from mm. Jonathan. How do you find it? Silence and, and grippiness. Yes. Um, let me answer the first question first. Mm. How quiet is it? Uh, in cabin, who am I kidding? Right? I'm driving a Subaru. <laughs> the exhaust is, 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 is quite noticeable already. <laughs> okay. Uh, but having said that, I don't hear <laughs> much road noise. Okay. Uh, so I can't really answer you that question. Yeah. Okay. The grip. The grip. The grip. As I said, uh, this car goes on Toge drives uh, over the weekends. Uh, it can ting. Uh, no qualms about it. Uh, and even if I push it a little, slightly too hard in, in certain corners, yeah, you know when it's gonna to let, let go. Okay. Uh, so it's quite predictable. Does the brand affect you in any way? Honestly, first thing I look for a tire, of course, bigger brands. Okay. Right? You don't want to go for small brands and what. But now with this tyre, after doing my research, it, it, it's big and in other countries or the western countries as well. Um, I've got no issues with GT now, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Performance. Performance. <laughs> one word, above average. It's not a average Xinglong Chao Kia tyre, above average. This is interesting. Do you mm. look at the year that the, the tyre oh, yes. was manufactured? Yes. The four digits. The four, the four digits. So what is the latest that you can go or earliest? For me, nothing above two years old. Okay. Uh, or, oh, yeah. or more. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. As long as it still feels rubbery, oh. uh, I'll take it. Noise reduction, comfort rebound. Comfort. I'll take you on comfort. Comfort, uh, good comfort. Uh, I, I think the, the tire was slightly softer as well for this one. Okay. Uh, that helps. Okay. I'm on stock suspension. I really feel like uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, the trip to Thailand and back at 2000 km, I was just cruising in it. I was just really having uh, fun driving it. It's comfortable. Okay. 
uh, compared to other. the other guys that I know was bouncing around in the car. A lot of people asking about the noise reduction. Yeah. Do you feel any difference when you change tyres? Uh? I know it, even though it's a Subaru. It's a, Actually, no. Think yeah. about it. Um, yes, the tyres before this different brand. Um, Actually, I do feel a slight difference uh, if, if my memory serves me right. Can you talk in the car? Because this oh, yeah. guy, there's one guy saying that <laughs> because my current tyre is too loud, can't even talk in the can, car. Can, 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 can talk in the car. If that's a measurement, can, can talk in the car. Bing has talked to me in the car before. We've done a video in the car before. Correct. It was on the same tyres. Correct, correct. Very talkable. Hyper <laughs> talkable. <laughs> talkable. <laughs> Very good, huh? <laughs> okay, next question. Mm. Balance real world performance. Balance real world performance. I think because a lot of the times whenever we look for tire review, right? Yeah. It's always like, oh, how is it when you on push? Track. Yeah. On the track. When you push, when yeah. you push. But yeah. what about real world performance? As I said, um, this is a daily driver for me when I still used to work in the office. Uh, and I drive it everywhere I go, I pick up my kids with it. Uh, it's comfortable. Uh, spirited driving has no issues. Um, on the wet, mm. I've got no issues with it. It's a very predictable tire. One to five, I'll give it a, a, a 4.5 for, for, for daily driving. <laughs> Definitely 4.5 for daily driving. Oh, okay. Honest review, GT did not pay me for this. Honest review, 4.5. Hey, seriously though, when I, cause I also changed mine. Yeah. And I realized it's so comfortable as compared to the previous tyre that mm. I was riding on mm. and so much more quiet mm. so I... It's, it's, it's true guys, it's, it's true. true It's true, it's a good daily driver Do you notice any fuel efficiency differences? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this question you should ask Bing lah uh, We're on the same tyres but uh, I'm driving a Subaru <laughs> I'm quite heavy footed at times <laughs> Let's not even talk about fuel efficiency I can't answer you that question. Next question, please. Air. What is air? Air pressure. My preference, I like to go slightly harder. Uh, I do 34, 34 PSI. Oh. Uh, and I realise when I do 34 PSI, going up, venting on a slightly more spirited drive, I get better grip uh, instead of a 32. Oh, serious? Uh? That's just my personal preference. I always thought if you deflate it a little bit, you get more grip instead yeah. of... So my theory is this, I'm not sure if you guys agree with it or not. Yeah. Um, when you deflate it, it takes harder, it takes a longer time to get your pressure, uh, your temperature oh. up and your pressure up when your temperature goes up together, right? Uh, so and again we are driving at mostly at night. Yeah. Uh, so the temperature, the ambient okay. temperature is slightly lower. Okay. Uh, so I've learned this when I, uh, during the track track times yeah. uh, or during the race. Yeah. Uh, because when we do warm ups, we only have one lap to warm up, and there's so many cars. So I tend to start my pressure slightly higher, okay. so that I can hit my required temperature or my optimum temperature faster. Okay. Um, but if you have a long drive to Genting before you hit the hills, then you can start lower lah. But I just like mine slightly higher, uh, mm. so I can hit it. So since you race on track, when mm. you go Genting ah, mm. do you go left and right ah <laughs> before you go up Genting? Uh, uh, no, 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 I don't do that on the road, that's dangerous on the road. Uh, you, you only do that in Sepang because it's a five lane highway, right? Uh, but but no, not on public. Uh, the other trick that I've learned as well, if you really want to heat up your tyres, use your brakes instead of just swerving left and right. Oh. Swerving left and right, you're just trying to get your the surface of your tyres uh, evenly heated up. Yep. Especially if you've got very aggressive chambers. Uh, but if this is only running on a, a negative two, I do not really need to do the left and right swerving. Uh, if ever I really need to heat it up, especially on track, I'll just use my brakes, accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. Okay. But guys, do it, do it cautiously on track lah. Okay. <laughs> wet handling when braking, basically braking in the wet. Yeah. Uh, braking in the wet, it's okay. The, the car still holds true. Uh, you don't get different uh, traction uh, on, on different tyres. Mm. Um, I, I had a few emergency brakes on the vet, uh, maybe some cars swerved up on the road or whatsoever. Very good handling. Good handling on the vet. Good yeah. handling. The, the car does not pull left or right for no reason. Do you look at the dread pattern? Um, not for a daily. Um, I'm not really that particular about it. Mm. Uh, for me, it's all about the feel and, okay. and, and how it drives. Uh, Tread pattern to me uh, might look different and but drives differently. 
it's like specs on the car lah. Mm. You see all the specs, but then when you drive the car, you feel no power, you also don't want ma. But then you drive a Miata, you think it's going to be very slow, <laughs> but it feels very fast. Sorry, just had to, just had to. Had to sell it one time, la, right? Had to, la. So that's the end of your questions. Majority of all your questions are very funny, yeah. And more or less the same thing, la, yo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Nick. thanks, Bing. It's fun. It's Thank you fun. for asking me. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can drop it in the comments below. I'll make him do the hard work by going and responding <laughs> sure. to the comments. <laughs> any last words for the tires? Any last words for the tires? <laughs> um, I would say go ahead. Give it a try. Um, I'm not disappointed. It's your first time, right? Trying GT? It's my first time uh, owning cars or, or all this while having cars. Uh, I've, I've not tried GT and this is my first time. Not disappointed. Uh, I've This is my second set. I would go for a third set. Oh, but, seriously? Yeah, I would. I would. If needed, I would. Yeah. Wow. Right. It's, it's very refreshing hearing this from a car guy because usually it's usually continental. Yeah. PS4S, that's like the best of the best. Yeah. And wow, that's it. I've never thought I would do it as well. But after trying it, yeah. Never try, never know. Like, never right? try, never know. Correct. Don't judge the book by its cover. Give, give other brands a try. And I did that. And no regrets. So thank you so much, Nick. Well, thank you, thank you, Bing. It's it's been uh, it's been fun and a pleasure all this. <laughs> Guys, kalau sila tak kau jangan kecam eh. Yeah, that's, that's your thing. That's your thing. That's your motto. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, if you're interested to see more of his car, also go check him out. Your Instagram handle. Scooby Nick SG Nine. SG Nine. Yeah. Scooby Nick SG Nine. Okay. See you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye. So you could also use this app to book your appointment to change your tire. For example, here I have my car. Um, so you can choose whatever car it is. For me right now, it's the Toyota Camry. Also, this app is called Speed Work Auto Care. Now I'm heading to my tire. So let's just say I want this tire. I choose my outlet. So choose a store to install in. Let's say I do... I cannot even pronounce this name and then I put by now to confirm and promo code if you have a promo code I don't have a promo code to give you and your payment method you can actually choose to pay online or offline so that's pretty nice just some FYI guys all right stay safe bye